What's up guys, it's Captain Rex Production 72 and today is a video on Lego Star Wars 7753 Pirate Tank I do not know the piece count seeing as I live in the UK they don't seem to put the piece count on the box also if you guys have watched a review by I don't know Lego Band 777 or any like American um, YouTubers, you guys would know that up in this corner it would say special edition, but in my case it does not, so that is kind of a lot done and I've been cool. Next up, all my other Comores boxes, um, yeah, this sets from 09, ages 8 to 14, and I paid £38 for it, it was not brand new. Because I thought to myself, what's the point in paying brand new if I'm just going to open it anyway? But, yeah. Just to say, guys, the box is in immaculate condition. Just need to fix that, kind of, those pieces. Um, yeah, because there's three minifigs. Hondo Onaka. He's, like, the main pirate. He's one of my favourite characters from the Clone Wars. He's a wee queen, like it says on the box, but you can't see it because the pirate tank is in the way. But, yeah, I'll show you guys the box. Um, if you guys don't mind, I just need to quickly grab the instructions out of my instructions folder. I'll just take a moment. I've got them. Instructions. Right, so, first of all, I'm going to show you guys the instructions. Same as the box. Um, I'll show you guys a random page inside. Yeah, you're building the opening flaps in this page. Uh, just try to find the final page in the book. Well, in the steps anyway for building. And there's your final digital model. Um, yeah. Just gonna put those to the side there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start off with the box. So I'm just gonna move the tank for the figs. Get that spinning thing does not come with that. Tank I go shoes that my refuse. So on the front you've got the minifigs, Weekway Pirates, Hondo fighting no sorry, Tuck Falso fighting Obi Wan Kenobi, the age limit, the clone trooper up in the background, that's the second generation Clone Wars logo. Sorry if you can't see the top of the box, you've got the firing missiles, minifigs, open the pit that just opens up. And those missiles that I have still not managed to work correctly. Up here, just to show you guys. Shows you the regular minifigs. Like this box set. Nothing up here. And yeah, that's just the box. Same art as the instructions. So we're just going to bring the camera in a bit further here. Uh, so we can get a look at the tank and the minifigs. Let's move it a bit. So minifigure one is my favourite in the set. My other Hondo's torso cracks, I'm happy I have another one. Come and get the focus. Look on this camera, there's just not a lot of focus guys, I apologise. I will do redo this review at some point. Probably. Um, I'd pure be unable to show you guys this fig. It's not focusing very well. Dead. Yep, we got it. So as you can see, Hondo and Naka. When I first seen this mini fig in one of the books, I thought his jacket looked like something Michael Jackson would wear. So he's got a sword, got printing on the front with a ragged t shirt, got his hair on the back, got a hat. Printing on the other side of his head. A uh, very cool minifig. Comes with a sword. So from Russia, but you, we guys are all in five minutes into this review. And we're still on the minifigs. I'm just gonna forget that turning point. Show you guys this way. So you may have some background noise, my brother. Um he's just got those revolvers from Indiana Jones. Some nice printing on the front. Same legs as Hondo. And he has the hair. Come down, back, down, back, so I don't know. Both these minifigures are exclusive to this particular set. The only figure in this set that is not exclusive, however, is 
Obi Wan Kenobi. He is in a couple of other sets. The seven seven wait sorry the seven six seven six Republic attack gunship, that Mandalorian fighter, and he's in this set. So, yeah. Um. Um. Uh, sorry, my brother is just he's one and a half. He does that. Um. I did try to close it though. Um. Yeah, just regular Obi Wan from the Clone Wars. Got that. Right, got his lightsaber, no double head. Yeah, stuff like that. So, yeah, we're just going to clear the minifigs out of the way. So, the first thing is, he's got some detail at the front, but these things are curved around, they just come out like that. There's on both sides. Um, at the front, there's these missiles here. Right, you can see right there. Well, you're supposed to push this piece in, and it's supposed to, but it always breaks the tank. Like, as you guys can see. So I don't think... I've seen how people manage to fire it. I'm just unable to. I don't think I'll ever be able to fire those missiles. But yeah. Um, say I was to put, I don't know, Obi-Wan between these two things. It would definitely hit him. Because it does. It just would. Um, up here we have this up to turret. Let's move it in a bit more. It does 360. Round and round. Um, bit for Hondo. Oh, so I totally don't give you a place to store his sword or Turks guns, but yeah, so what I tend to do is I tend to put Hondo in and then put his sword in to slot it in a gap next to him. So like this for instance. And then I um put the sword in and he's in the knife sword. Um then we've got these things at the side. I'll get to my favourite feature last. They are up and down but they stay in that position in the show. So on both sides, these can, well, mine's just come off, I apologise. These get, these things can be removed, got stickers, sticker, sticker, loads of stickers on the set. Those at the front, they are all stickers, no surprise. Um, this is like 2009, appeared when I've done so much. Flick missiles, sorry not flick missiles, stickers, it was on me, but yeah, flick missiles are as well. I'm just going to flick this. Ah, well, fail. Well, this piece here appears to have come off. Oh, I'm knocking the box over. Um, I'm not gonna flick these. I'm just gonna push. I'm just gonna. Well, the other one, this one broke, and the other one appears to have went halfway across the room. Just get up, you guys. So yeah, this is what I'm doing the big set reviews and this from this angle. Just there, repair the missiles, um put them back in the launcher or technic piece that holds them. If I can do that. Uh yeah. So yeah, so here's my favourite feature. Uh open these flaps up like this. This flaps open. Archer mechanism comes out for the money for a tuck or hondo, but yeah, I'd rather I, I feel better. But when I display it, I don't put duck in there, I don't put any of them in there. So you just fold that up, and the way you get the mini figures out is you pull this, and tuck comes out. But when I am um, I'm displaying the set on my unit in one of those boxes. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, well, I've not seen a video with this old display, I don't think. Um, apart from, nah, I'm not sure you have. I tend to put tuck there on the side of the tank, it's right on the side. Hondo usually stands up, but I've, it's sometimes annoying trying to get him to stand up. I like the cannon. kind of annoys me that they used a, this colour of piece white instead of black. It would have made that much more sense. Uh, I tend to think the pirate tank is a 10 out of 10 for this set. Two rare and exclusive minifigures, and Hobie one. If you've not got him, that's a bonus. If you do have already like two of him, then try and find one that's missing the Obi one because I don't recommend having more than one. And yeah, this extra Obi one is sitting in the area of my Republic army, but that'll be in another video where I keep all my Jedi and clones. Um. But yeah, I give this a 10 out of 10, so please like, comment, and subscribe.